I sometimes come to the cemetery just for meditation, just to learn. I want to know much more about this spiritual energy that is awakened within us, the draconic energy that is so sensitive to any kind of energies. With energies, I mean spirits, spirits that we can feel. And I discovered this once I was on a cemetery, that I could feel much more in the palm of my hand, that I can feel those who were once alive, that those who are still walking around in this limbo between existence, not going anywhere, not even knowing that they are dead, died with most of the time a negative energy, most, most of the time they are also left inside of a limbo between us, our spirituality, our spiritual, uh, I mean, our plane of existence and, and the other sides. And uh, yeah, it's um, interesting to learn about this and I sometimes come to sit here and I sometimes come to learn about this energy that lives, lives within us so that we can actually see the dead, we can feel the dead. The reason for that is a dragon, a dragon in itself, the spirit of the dragon, they are what you can see, can, can say and consider as those who was very much feared. I mean, the, the Grim Reaper, the one with a great rope and a skeleton that guides souls on the other side. <laughs> in reality, um, I can see and uh, much more than this. And I came to find out that the dragon in itself is a being that guides other souls to the other side, inside of Leviathan's Void, through Leviathan's Void, through other, other uh, spiritual planes, to other existence. And the dragon can do that. The dragon can guide other, other spirits with them. They can guide them. They are actually the being of death and life in itself. They are the one with the rope. They are the one with the skeleton inside of it. But it's not scary at all. They are not. Once you see the dragon, once you, you are glad, you, you welcome them. You welcome them inside of you, in, in, I mean around you. Do you welcome the dragon? They are not this being that you should fear. They are the ones that you should be glad that they are taking you through the other side, that they are uh, guiding you through Leviathan's void, that nothing can happen to you, that you are not a lost soul, that they know where you have to go and what kind of a gate that you belong to. And sometimes I see them, I see, I feel these human beings being trapped inside of this limbo between existence and so they are not guided by anything they are just lost and they also have this they, they are inside of Leviathan's void and they just don't even know it inside of this pain that never stops inside of this uncertainty of their families uh, where I felt this the most, where, where I just felt the opening of uh, into the Leviathan's Void was in a slaughterhouse. All of this pain, whenever you die, and you die with pain and fear, with everything, then you go to Leviathan's Void without any guidance. And most of the time we die with pain, we die with fear, we die with uncertainty, we die with dark thoughts. And with uh, the darker the thoughts, the more chance you have of being a lost soul in Leviathan's Void and I can feel this within this cemetery. There is so much people, so many of them, that live in what you can call hell. Even though they were sometimes good souls, even though that doesn't matter. It's not this way how nature works. And to avoid that we are res becoming residents of Leviathan's Void, then the dragon guides us through the other side, the dragon in itself and ourselves. And that is the reason why we can feel the dead, why we can feel all of these death itself, why we can feel this. Sometimes it, I, I, it became too much for me to handle even. All of this death, all of what he can feel. I, I didn't want to feel this. Yet when your soul, your soul by the dragon is awakened, when your draconic soul is awakened within you, and around you, and you know your dragon's eye, then of course you have to realize what a dragon is. And a dragon, a dragon is a spirit of a guidance inside of death. 
whenever, whenever the dragon is there to guide a soul, then this soul deserves it. The dragon decides that this soul deserves it. The connection that you have, you don't even need your dragon by your side to be to, to, to guide you to the other side, to the dragon realm. This is something that you can do of your own, because you are the spirit of death within the dragon soul that you have. You know the way, you know the way through Leviathan's void, and Leviathan calls you welcome to do so, because you are a traveler, and you can go from one gate to another. You just seem to forget it with your human mind. It could be that you forgot the way, but eventually you will know the way. And um, yeah, it's very recommended to go to a cemetery and just see all of these graves and to feel all of these energies, all of these people still walking around, missing their loved ones, not knowing what is going on. And this is what you can do with your own draconic spirit. This is to feel. This is to feel, even though sometimes it's, it's not that pleasant to feel them. But if you want to let your uh, draconic spirit grow, if you want to um, to know what you are, are, what you can do, what you are capable of, then it's good that you can sometimes uh, practice yourself into this. Practicing and guiding yourself into the spirit of death that you can be, that you actually are, that the spirit of death is awakened inside of you. And the spirit of death is not bad. The spirit of death is in fact the, one of the higher energies and the higher energies that is awakened within. And that is why it's very interesting actually to know what your spirit can do, to know what the dragon can do. Leviathan's Void is some kind of a place of learning, teaching the ways of also <laughs> also being the spirit of death that can be that that is why there are actually so many spirits of death that can guide you through the fight and void and to know where you belong in which gate there are there are some there, there is not it's not only the dragon that can do this there are also other spirits but the, the dragon more does that to the ones that deserve it or that they have a connection with them and you you along with with your dragons you can do this, you can travel, and you know your way, you know the way to every gate, you know where it stands, you know where the gates are, you just need to feel it, just like you can feel all of the dead that is still walking around inside of this cemetery. And it's not that we can do anything about this, it's not that you can guide someone just because you want to. No, it's because most of the time you have a connection with the spirit, with this soul. Once, if, if one of your loved ones die, then maybe you can guide them. With your draconic spirit, it's a gift. This is a gift to know the way inside of Leviathan's Void and to know the way to the Dragon Realm and the, all the other plane of existence. The dragon is universal. The dragon is a spirit of, that you can call a gift, but also sometimes a curse. Because the dragon knows so much, so many things. And if you just can remember, then a lot of things, of course, uh, can come that your human mind cannot handle. And that is why it's very interesting to go to a cemetery. Just feel all of the dead with your spirit that you have. Alongside with all of your dragons, you can feel the dead. Sometimes they are gone, sometimes they are not. Sometimes they are rocking around, around inside of a strange position. All of them have a story to say. And all of them have a different kind of Leviathan's Void reality. What they see inside of Leviathan's Void, for them it's not to learn, but they are stuck. And like I said, very interesting to train your own spirit into this, into the spirit of the dragon. My brothers and sisters, be blessed.